Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I promise to make this talk very practical and relevant to everybody in the audience, whether you work for a small company or a large company. The pandemic made us reassess all of our assumptions about how we live, how we work, how we learn, how we socialize. And I think it's really important as we go into this new era of hybrid work that we don't lose sight of the workplace innovations that came about over the last couple of years. I spent the last two years with my dear friend, Keith Ferrazzi, doing a massive research project with Harvard Business School. We interviewed over 2,000 executives, entrepreneurs, change makers from all across the world, from all kinds of organizations, to better understand what was the practical things they did to be able to make uh, their organizations resilient and successful in a world of uncertainty and change over the last two years. We pattern matched all of these learnings into four key leadership behaviors. These four skills together are what we call radical adaptability. So this muscle to be able to predict proactively and progressively and turn risks into opportunities. Now these four leadership characteristics are collaboration, uh, foresight, agility, and resilience. If you use these tools effectively, you can get many more voices involved in decision making, in ideation, and have much more inclusive voices, whether that's diversity of people or ideas, into your conversations. Those organizations that have gotten rid of these myths of collaboration, of inclusion, of resilience, they are the ones that are going to thrive in this new world of work. You as leaders have to design the incentives and the collaborative models in order to succeed in this new era because the newer generations demand it. The Great Resignation is a story of those organizations that are not willing to change and are not willing to adapt. And it's happening because they're not changing their behaviors, they're not changing their attitudes. They're not trying to meet people where they're at. Um, you know, the pandemic made all of us change how we live and work, and it changed our expectations of how we want to live. People are looking for a flexible place to work. They're looking for a place that's meaningful, a place that is purposeful, a place that's inclusive. And so a great question to ask is, um, show me your cards. How are you doing that? How do you show inclusivity in your meetings? How are you showing uh, that our voices matter even if I'm not, let's say, the senior decision maker? I strongly believe that we're living in this new era of work and we have to radically change all of our assumptions for how we communicate and collaborate to really maximize innovation. I hope that when you're leaving this amazing conference and you're going back to the office or virtual office, you take some of these great insights you've learned from the last couple of days and say, rather than go back to work, let's go forward 